Hey dudes, what's going on? Um, I'm here to bring you a game that I played um, in the time that I was dumb and had my mic muted. Um, so there were three games I played um, and this was the last of the three. Um, I felt really... I just wanted to show it to you because I felt like I played really well. Um, probably because it's against Terran, which I feel is my best matchup at the moment. Um, because... Yeah, I, I just feel like I can beat them most of the time. So, um, what I was thinking I was going to be doing was what I normally do against Terran, which is no gas um, for a while until I hit about 40 supply. Um, which can work out really, really well, um, as you'll see. Um, I've just sp spoiled it, I guess, spoiled the game. But, um, yeah, but it can also not work out really well, because I get my hatchery first, and if he was to kind of rush me of some sort, um, I would be sad. Um, so on this map, I sent out a drone scout, because I think this, last time I played on this map, we were here and here, and, um, suddenly we were on the other two corners, I was really confused, and like, what, since when could you spawn there? Um, so yeah, I sent out a drone just to try and scout out where he is, uh, which I never normally do, which I really should do. Um, and then I expanded on 15 supply, and then I accidentally built another drone. I was meant to um, build my spawning pool on 14, but then I didn't. But oh well. Um, so I think after this game I decided that it must be forced cross spawns. Um, so yeah, I scout him. I, I yeah, I turn back around and try and kill his SUV, but then a uh, marine spawns and I get really sad. But my drone gets out of there, so that's cool. Um, so not much is happening. I'm just getting a lot of drones, really. Um, yeah, let's 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 look at the units. Um, I only have one more worker than him. Just thing. Uh, 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 APM. That's all that matters. Okay. Um, so I think he was a gold Terran. Um, Again, like I said, I was in, I got placed in gold. Um, cause the first, I th yeah, the three games that I played. Oh yeah, I saw his here. I saw his marine go down, and he just missed my um, overlord, which is exciting. But I think he's scouting for where I am. Um, anyway, I'm sending out my overlords to go like to ex expansion and to up here, so later I can scout. Um, I threw down a spine crawler because I noticed that he had a barracks here and I always get paranoid and if I ever do this build I always just throw down a spine crawler anyway um, just in case they rush me but he's getting a dinghy so it doesn't really matter um, his marine scouts me, he gets him on base and then this spawns and kills him that's great <laughs> um, then soon I think I end up deciding to get a third. I get it up here because it seems easier to defend going up here than going all the way back down here. Um, yeah. Oh, in terms of drops, it's easier to defend. That's my that's my theory. Um, so I'm still getting lots of drones. I only have um, I have a designated creeper queen is here. Um, as you can see, I don't really get much creep for a while. Um, this this queen eventually goes to my third, which is getting built now. Um, yeah, basically I play super super greedy and it's awesome. And um, I got some drone. Uh, blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Uh, Zerglings coming in here to scout eventually. Um, apparently I'm pooping out creep first. 
Um. Yeah. Come on, come on, get in there. But I think they just die straight away because he got marines in there first. So he has the like custom marine skin, which is cool. Um, they even changed it on here. That's awesome. Um, I get a macro hatch because I had lots of money. That's a lot of money because I have a lot of drones, and still all I have is two zerglings. So if he was to come now and try and attack me, he would probably succeed. Um, I'm not sure if. Yeah, I didn't see his expansion, but the bunker kind of tells me that he had one. Um, so I feel a bit more safe having my third. Um, yeah. I'm spreading a bit of creep up to my third. Send my queen there already. Um, yeah, I'm getting my gas now. I got it a bit more, a bit later than I normally would. I get all four gas. Um, I got normally get it on 40 supply ish, but I got it on 50, which doesn't really matter too much. Um, and normally the first hundred gas I get, um, like a my zergling speed. This thing is really distracting. <laughs> like I, uh, I think every time I came here, I thought it was like a Viking or a dropship or something. Um, and yeah. So my drones are in gas now. Uh, so it's almost 10 minutes and I still don't have a lair. Um, let's look at what he's doing. I never really do that. Um, he's getting a lot of supply depots. He getting marines and hellions. I think I scout this at some point. Um, yeah, soon I send in my overlords. Um, he's got a large amount of SCVs could probably transfer some. So he's getting plus one attack for his Hellions and Siege tanks. Um, let's look at his vision. At the moment he can only, well my overlord's coming in, um, he only knows that I have this. He hasn't scouted up here. Um, See so what he could do is scan but he for whatever reason didn't. Um, so I send my overlord in to scout. I send both in. Um, so he's a bit more ahead. Um, yeah, the reason I send two in is so that if one misses something, the other one is a bit more likely to do it. But at the same time, of oh, that doing this, I sacrificed them, so I had to make more, which you know I end up doing. And let's look at the units. Still, I still don't have any attacking units like at all now. Um, so. I think I feel I'm um, really unsafe at the moment because he has a lot of stuff. So I, throw, I, I scout what he has. I see that he has a bunch of Hellions and Marines. So I throw down a Baneling Nest, which I probably would have done anyway, um, and an Infestation Pit so I can get the Hive um, or maybe Infestors. Um, and I think I'm done with drones for the game, so I just start making units. Um, then these overlords are here and they're annoying, so I kind of spread them out to each base. Um, See, so like little things like that made me just feel like I was playing really well. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so I got one one on the way, and he's got one attack for his things. Uh, he hasn't got any other things, but he got a Thor. Um, so basically if he attacked me right now, he, I probably would have lost. I got my fourth on the way and I got the gas, because um, I'm going for ultras, because ultras are awesome. Um, and they require a lot of gas. So he's moving out, I have my lings here, they somehow missed each other. Um, I think I see that he's moving out, so I just send my lings into his base, I think. Oh, he's moving back now, um, which is probably a good thing to him. Um, but I got a bunch more banelings here. I got a lot of banelings. Um, I kind of try and split up my links a bit. So I send a few to the worker line. Um, yeah. I don't know what is getting attacked here. And then, yeah, I send a few to the worker line to kind of kill some workers. And, yeah. He ends up cleaning it up. Um, hell? 
So at the moment I'm ahead in the units lost thing. Um, 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 this eventually becomes a planetary, which is probably uh, a mistake by him as a as like a gold player. He really he should not be doing that. He should have expanded. Um, so I got my overlords at all the expansions that he could have expanded to, but taking a third on this map with mech, which is what he's mostly going for, is I imagine really hard for Terran. He's got this this guy stuck. Um, really hard for Terran because the uh, stuff is really immobile. Um, so I think I see that that's there. I don't really know. Oh, I see it now. And I go, oh no, and back out. Oh, yeah, I see it there, then I... Then my Zergling decides it's a good idea to try and attack it. Um, I got my fourth up with some drones there. I think they were drones that I accidentally made. Um, so I think I'd try and spread these out a bit. No, I make a bunch of spine crawlers. Oh yeah. Um, I make a bunch of spine crawlers. Because <laughs> I feel unsafe. I think, he ha I think I thought he had more than he does, if that makes sense. But I've also got nine altars on the way. <laughs> I've got my hive and my tutu on the way, and my adrenal glands, which makes my zerglings attack faster. Um, then I send some, I send a couple of units to kind of scout where he is. Then I think I try and set up a bit of a surround with my links and stuff. No, these are okay. These are just doing like a little counterattack, trying to scout out his face a bit more do some damage. Um, then I see he's got banshees and I'm all like, oh no! And I think at the time I was like, oh maybe I should get investors. Nah, let's throw down a hydro dent. So I throw one down here. Cool. That was close. Um, and I got a lot of ultras. Um, I don't have, I got kindness planning on the way which makes ultras more, have more armor. Then I kind of spread this out. Um, and it's awesome. Yeah. Um, so I do that, I kill his army. But then there are some banshees. And the banshees kind of do a lot of damage. And banshees are kind of account well they are kind of accounted to ultralist in that not with an attack obviously. But they still take a while to die if the Banshees don't have any upgrades and the Ultras have a lot. Um, so I kill this planetary, I got some more Ultras coming. Um, I got my Hive, I think I put my Hydrogen, I think I forgot about it for a second. Um, and I got my Overlord Speed on the way because I got, because I noticed that he has Banshees and they're cloaked, so I get them so they're a bit faster. And then I got Hydras on the way as well as the Hydra Speed. Um, and I think at this point I was like, well, I think I can sacrifice his ultras because I'm on four bases and he's on one. One, uh, now kind of point, point one of a mining base. Um, so I kind of try and do as much damage as I can and then I think I send some zergling. yeah, I, I send a whole lot of zerglings on the way because zerglings are really good for kind of cleaning up. Um, in my opinion, and they're really the way them why they're good is because they, they do a bunch of damage, kind of keep first the opponent on edge, and you know you can sacrifice them. It's fine. Um, so I got some hydras. Uh, I just get hydras and ultras, but I don't have um, as much gas as I would like. Um, and I got my overseers to spot the banshees. Um, and with any leftover lava, I would get the... I don't know why I do this. Um, yeah, with any leftover lava, I would get zerglings. I think I'd do that to kind of... Well, obviously to scout. Um, so that was kind of a mistake on his part to have... What he really should have done is... Thrown down another... Yeah, and then maybe, like, another one somewhere else and just like maybe maybe even move this over to here tried to basically you should just try to expand a couple of times or 
but I think his his train of thought was to um, just go all in. Um, yeah. So reasons for me not expanding here. They can easily drop here, then go over here, and I'll have to run all the way around. Um, or use banshees. Uh, so I take out his banshees, and there were some thaws up here, and then that's the end of the game. Um, and I'm expanding again. Cool. Um, so yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show that off and kind of show off my train of thought or whatever, and because I know some of you want to see some cool games. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you later, guys.